Aaron. Wait. I still see you like that. I always will. I want you. A lot. But in the middle of all this, it... It wouldn't be fair on you. Shouldn't I be the one to decide that? I'm trying not to mess things up here. I want it to be different this time. I'll wait for you. Till you're ready. And then what? And then we give it a proper chance. If you still want me. And I will do. Of course I want this. Lost my mates. You see, this is why you don't give them money. My phone's dead and I can't get home. Hang on. What happened to your bus fare? Missed your dinner. And the next one's not for ages. Have you got a tenner for a taxi? Please. It's really sketchy around here. I just want to go home. She's lying. She's like 12. Hey! 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 Ask me up first, you perv. <laughs> Right. It's like having me on little bodyguard, isn't it? Yeah, well, I got it back, didn't I? Yeah, well, you look like you can handle yourself anyway. Well, she's small, it doesn't mean she can't kick. Yeah, all right. Come on, let's get out of here before you start a turf war. Because of that. Who is it? This dude creeps saw me over from the park. Hello, love. Hiya. You know him? Yeah, I do. Liv, this is your brother, Aaron. Do you live with my dad? Um, no. Where do you live then? Well, not round here. What happened in the park? Nothing. Just walking in the same direction with me. Why don't you go and put the kettle on, love? You. I, uh, want to talk to him. Come on. I'll help you. It took ages. Your dad know. How did you change your name? Me address. No. I haven't seen him for a while. But you have seen him. How is he? Um. Well, he, he's... he's had cancer. <laughs> Send you, did he? With some sub-story so he could see Liv? No. I wouldn't do anything for him. Then why are you here? <sighs> because the police are going to want to speak to you. About my dad. And what he did to me when I was a kid. 